Well, you know about travel advisories. They are serious life or death warnings for Americans. The State Department issues them. That means now Secretary of State now, of course, is Antony Blinken. He does. Travel advisories have four levels of danger, one to four. Four is the most dangerous. It's like 10 on the earthquake Ritker scale. A level four means do not travel. You could get kidnapped or worse, even murdered. Here are some nations the State Department is warning Americans about with a level four travel advisory. Afghanistan, Belarus, Myanmar, Gaza, Iran, Iraq, Libya, and we just added one last week from the State Department, Haiti. Do not go to any of these nations. They are all level four. Now, in assigning that danger, the State Department is warning you that our government cannot protect you if you go to these places. Our government can't protect its citizens? Does that sound remotely familiar? Yes, of course it does. Try right here in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. The Secretary of State should issue level four travel advisories to all, especially tourists, who travel here because it's plain from what is happening in this city, the government cannot and does not protect you. Crime in D.C. is spiraling wildly out of control. Consider just this. Four nights ago on Saturday, D.C. had six murders. That's more than Chicago and New York. In the first five days of August, we had 13 murders in D.C. And so far this year, and it's only August, D.C. has had 161 murders. And to think, we're only a little over halfway through the year. Our murder rate this year is already up 28 percent over last year. Violent crime, including armed carjackings in D.C., up 37 percent this year over last year. And to repeat, we're only a little over halfway through this year. The crime statistics in our nation's capital are absolutely staggering. So. Maybe you're thinking, why is the president who lives here full time, or Congress, which is here most of the time, or our local D.C. government not joining me in asking the State Department for a level four travel advisory warning tourists, better think twice before you come here? Well, I'll tell you why. Why should they worry? The president and his family have large details of Secret Service, an armored car, and a large uniformed officer's guarded fence around their house, the White House. And I'm, of course I'm glad that he has that security. He needs it. I want him safe. And Secretary of State Antony Blinken, who also has a big security detail in a State Department police force to make sure that he's safe, I'm glad that he has that, too. Each justice of our Supreme Court has a security detail, and the high court is also guarded by U.S. Marshals. I'm also glad for that. Members of Congress have their own entire police force called the Capitol Hill Police. Congress has other means of protection, including barricades and mobile fences that can be thrown up when things get dicey. And what about our local leaders, for instance, our mayor, Muriel Bowser? She's safe from the dangers of the city, too. She has a security detail, and I'm very glad she has one, too. But with all these important people who are safe, glad they are, whose job is it to keep tourists safe and keep U.S. D.C. residents safe? What are they doing? Growing crime statistics suggests they're doing nothing. It almost appears that in D.C. it has become every man for himself. But the least we could do is have a level four travel advisory for tourists so that they have notice of the dangers and can pick some place else to take their families if they want. Let's not lure them to D.C. with our fancy monuments. Let's warn them. P.S. If our leaders who identified did their jobs to protect D.C. as they should, we would not need a travel advisory. Oh, one other thing. Because D.C. is our nation's capital, the world is watching. It's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Advisory Neighborhood Commissioner for Ward 5 and District 5D06, Kathy Henderson, joins me. Nice to see you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. We're both D.C. residents. Yes. And um, you are as outraged as I am. Absolutely. And you are preaching to the choir. I concur with everything you just said. The district is out of control. Crime is out of control. We are not safe. Tourists are not safe. Unfortunately, we lost a tourist uh, on the mall. You would think on the mall, you, that's one of the safest places to be visiting our museums. The man was killed by someone with over $700 and outstanding tickets and dead tax. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. I mean, it's like, and, you know, and some neighborhoods are a little bit safer than, than others. Uh, but, I mean, it's like, it, I mean, we, we've had snipers in D.C., um, it's and it's so, it's so all the leaders in D.C. You know, just they just get up and leave. They don't. They don't. They're not, they're not doing their job to protect us. I'm calling on members of the D.C. Council, 
Mayor Bowser and our beloved Congresswoman Eleanor Holmes Norton to activate the National Guard. The city is out of control. You've already given the horrifying statistics, 161 murders so far. Uh, if you talk to any of our, our local MPD uh, officers, they say that we are on par for approximately 300 murders by the end of the year if the rate continues. I mean, this is outrageous, it's unacceptable, and we need to prioritize public safety, protecting the public. All right, when you sat down, I said, what's that? And I pointed at your clipboard. What is that? It's a petition. It's an urgent public safety petition. We, the undersigned, do not feel safe due to the escalating homicide and crime rate in the District of Columbia and respectfully call on the mayor, D.C. Council, and congressional representative to request activation of the National Guard and Uniform Division of the Secret Service and the th other 38 law enforcement agencies to help patrol the city. Okay, who gets, who do you want to sign? Residents? Residents. Give that to me. Oh, God bless you. Thank yeah, you so much. Give that much. to me. I'm a resident, D.C. I'll sign it right on the air. And people could think it's a, a stunt or what, whatever they thought. But this place is so unsafe. You know, it's just, you know, it's just so, it's so incredible. You know, I'm just, you know, uh, I'm so glad you're doing it. What, what's the response by the... Um... The response has been overwhelmingly positive. I went to a crime meeting last night in my ward, and I, I ran out of spaces. People wanted to sign the petition. I've spoken, I've reached out to Major McMaster of the National Guard. He said, you know, the request has to come across his desk and he's Who has ready. to do it? Who has to do it? The mayor? The mayor has to do it. The mayor has to ask the president to activate the National and Guard. And has she? She has not. Why won't she? We don't know. But the time is right. All right. Well, you and I are going to put pressure on her. The um, time I've, is right. I've signed it. I'm all for it. You're, you know, you're, you're my hero. I'm all for it. Kathy thank Anderson, you. thank you very much. No, and thank you. And there's a precedent for having the National Guard uh, re regain law and order in the district. 1991 in the Mount Pleasant riot. All right. Well, we I mean, the law is this place is this is this is just disgraceful. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. God bless you. Thank you.